Hello there, this is Jonathan with the SS Motion bringing you a Call of Duty review this time. Reviewing Seal Sub Recon, which is set number CNG80. Comes with 171 parts and retails for around £20. Now this is based on a real world submersible that is used by the Navy SEALs. Um, but you used it in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare franchise. Used it to insert into enemy territory a few times with the rest of your team. So here you can see that you get the sub, you get a little storage crate, and you get two SEAL figures. So we'll take a look at the figures first. Okay, so this is one of the uh, new SEAL soldiers that you get, and he is pretty cool looking, isn't he? Uh, you get some flippers on the guy, you get some nice painted details on the brand new head with the new breathing apparatus and goggles. You get some printed details on his chest uh, equipment, um, and then you get the combat knife with him, and you get a brand new weapon, which is some form of shotgun. Um, Again, it uses the typical M16, M4 based central body, comes with a new stock however and a new barrel area. Um, it looks to be a pump action shotgun, maybe it's some sort of version of the Spaz 12, who knows. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, or if anyone knows just let us know and I'll uh, update the video. So this is a recall of the previous figure. Uh, again, you have some nice uh, painted details on uh, his apparatus, on his chest and on his head. Uh, but past that, like I said, it's pretty much the same figure in terms of sculpt and posability. Uh, the vest is removable, as always, on the Call of Duty figures. The flippers are removable. It comes with a combat knife, which is pretty standard to the Call of Duty line. And comes with a Vector, which is a brand new weapon and is one of my now favourite weapons in this line. So if we take a closer look at it in his hand, take it out, this is the Vector submachine gun. Uh, now it comes with a new... Um, central piece it's got a new grip on it that you can clearly see if i separate it has a nice uh, trigger guard on it um, so let's pull the weapon back together and we'll take a better look so you get a new uh, stock on it you finally get the red dot sight which i'm absolutely happy about and you get a grip that can just slide off the front of the gun just slides on similar to the uh, ammo magazine of previous guns this just slides onto the front and as you can see you get a nice clear grip that the figure can use. Interestingly there's a square slot here, not sure what that's for yet, maybe future attachments, so we'll have to stay peeled on what comes out for the gun to add on to it. So taking a look at the main part of this set is the submarine and its little storage crate. Now this is a storage crate that we've seen mostly in the Halo line. It's in a bright red colour as you can see, opens up, you can fit the flippers in there and if you break the guns down they fit in there no problem. Uh, and I will show you where this goes in a second. So basically, this is the submersible. Absolutely fantastic detail. You got printed uh, caution striping along the side. You have a printed internal uh, control panel here. Movable steering wheel. You got the nice bright green luminescent lights. Rotating propeller that just spins around. No problem. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Um, and then what well, an absolutely brilliant feature is that you can open this hatch up. So they just slide down and you can either put another figure in there or you sit the storage box in there. It's simple as that. It can plug into the bottom so it doesn't rattle around. Again, a great feature. Now you can close the doors um, separately so you can slide one up or you can slide the other up. Or you can lift them up like that and then have it as like a maintenance hatch on each side. There's a lot of variation that you can have in those doors and I absolutely like it. It's brilliant. Uh, it's a great little feature and uh, pretty accurate to the uh, submersible itself. So as I mentioned, the figures fit in there perfectly. It can sit in the back, sit in the front, no issue. Absolutely great set. So highly recommend you pick it up. It's a great way to get a little submersible vehicle, our first submersible in the Call of Duty line. Uh, obviously, it doesn't actually work as one. The box is very specific in highlighting that it doesn't float or it doesn't sink. It just it don't use it on actual water, otherwise you might lose it. Um, but still, it's a great replica, we shall say. Um, you get two great figures, some brand new weapons, which are absolutely fantastic. I was kind of getting bored of the typical sniper rifle, assault rifle setup, so it's good to see new parts incorporated into the line. Can't wait to see what's next. Um, so yeah, absolutely fantastic set, worth picking up. Good price, good figures. Cannot lose on this one. 
So that's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we will be reviewing more Call of Duty, Halo and Assassin's Creed sets in the coming weeks. We're very excited with what we have to show you. It, it's really great stuff. So don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.